Earlier this morning, I did hear that the Rain Group uh, investment bank in New York are who are dealing with the actual sale or the process of the takeover at Manchester United on the on behalf of the Glazers are planning to make an announcement this afternoon or today sometime. I'm not holding my breath. I've looked into the Rain Group. They are just as secretive and confidential and just complete silent on the matter of Manchester United as are the Glazers they represent the Glazers they're not going to do anything in conflict of the Glazers therefore I don't think we can expect we can expect some huge announcement today I'm hoping that we do I'm hoping that they simply come out and make a clear announcement as to what's going on and where where we are at in the sales process and the takeover of Manchester United and who is is going to be the person or group that's going to be taking over Manchester United. Why can they not be clear about this? Ridiculous. We are, I, I come on each episode and I say the same thing. I really do not want to be discussing the takeover. I want to be looking at the future. I want to be looking at what's going on with Manchester United and where we need to be heading and what direction. I do not want to be discussing who is going to take over Manchester United and whether the Glazers are even going to move forward with this. There was a huge uh, storm uh, earlier th- today um, with, on Twitter, fans going crazy, Man United fans that is, about this rumour that's been circulating that the Glazers are refusing to sanction any bid, any offer for the uh, any players that Man United or Ten Hag has put on his list. And the reason being is because they want the takeover to actually take place before any offers are made and they're not wanting to sanction any of these uh, offers that for me if that's true that's good news and i'll tell you why it's good news is because i feel then there is a imminent sale of manchester united it tells you that the glazers want to get out as quick as possible they may not be hanging around for a month, month or two until the transfer window finishes they may allow the new owners to buy their players i mean look if that is the case i think it's good news i think it's really good news i want that to happen however it could also mean that the glazers just simply sit there and let the window close without sanctioning any purchases i think that would be the final nail in the coffin i think that would completely turn even the neutral fans against the Glazers and historically have such a significant impact on the way the Glazers have owned Manchester United and they would I mean I'd be shocked if any other uh, football club would allow them to buy them them if that is what they plan to do I mean it would just be horrendous for Man United to have a whole transfer window the new buyers coming in and not having the opportunity to, to buy anybody totally totally would be horrendous so i'm hoping that's not the case i'm hoping that the rain group do come out make an announcement and put in a plan into place plan of action a timetable a timetable so we know look by this week or by this date the sale process should have been completed and we're looking at new owners who can come in and start the rebuilding process Okay, moving away from the announcement of Rain Group and the takeover, let's hold fire, let's see what happens. If there is something, I will let you know immediately. I'll upload a new episode for the podcast and we will let you know. Moving on, Mason Mount. Yes, Mason Mount apparently has agreed his personal terms with Manchester United. I think we already knew this. I think we knew this a couple of weeks ago. There was talk of him having already agreed his personal terms with Manchester United and Manchester United are very confident at signing uh, Mason Mount they're actually 80% confident they're saying that they're happy with the player they've had discussions with him and everything's agreed it's only Chelsea who need to now finalize and accept an offer that's been made by Manchester United and the offer that they have made is not being accepted by Chelsea now I can I can see why they're not accepting it because number one it's Manchester United 
It's Manchester United and they do not care whether you Manchester United have to pay double the price for a player because the tax for Manchester United is always applied with all these players. They always get bent over for having been, well, to be for being Manchester United. I mean, if a Saudi club came in for Mason Mount, I think Chelsea would sell him for 40 million or 50 million. He's in his last year of his contract and, uh, well, they want to get some money out of him. Why would they wait for, for the his contract to end and ha him got leaving on a free when they can get some money from him right now? I think it's just Manchester United. They're playing hardball against Manchester United. They know that the Man United will become desperate and end up paying what is being asked, personally. Anyway, I hope it, it, it finalises quickly. I think Man United need to hold hold firm on this and not make any offers coming back to holding firm clearly Harry Kane's situation there's still rumours circulating that he is looking to put his uh, in his transfer request at uh, Spurs I think he should I don't think Daniel Levy is cares about the players I don't think he cares about Harry Kane I don't think he cares what happens he I believe he would let him s sit there for another year and let him go on a free transfer rather than selling him to Manchester United. That's just the way Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Levy, Levy operates, I believe. So I think he should hand his, in his transfer request and Man United will be in prime position to buy him. They need a striker like Harry Kane and he would be a great addition to Manchester United's team. We need squad players. We need players to rotate. Harry Kane is one of those players we need in the team we are so short of players in the club it's astonishing and if we're going to go into the champions league next season and we're going to be trying to compete in the premier league we will need a decent decent squad of players we are transferring out and there's rumors that we're getting rid of lots of players from the squad harry kane uh, it will need to be coming in to support the the team we need to rebuild the team we've got um harry Maguire supposedly leaving we've got um de Gea supposedly leaving we've got supposedly we've got fred on on leaving as well mctominay there's lots of players that are on, on the way out we need to bring in some solid players to fill in them voids we we also we, we need to do what newcastle are doing i'm hearing tonali is on the verge of joining newcastle I mean, that would be a fantastic signing for Newcastle. Newcastle are doing everything under the radar. They're just simply there buying these players quietly, not making a huge fuss about anything. There's no, hardly any rumours you hear. It's just, you know, advanced talks and then it's announced. Boom, the deal is done. Newcastle have got this player. They've got that player. Why are United not doing that? There's some talk of it just been there's there's been lots of leakers in uh, Manchester United many people within the club and the setup are just since Fergie's left are just leaking this information out to the press I really hope that ends I hope the new owners come in and wipe the slate clean of these staff members and get in a solid trusted bunch of people in there who do not leak stuff to the press Declan Rice is another player that's on the radar, apparently, for many clubs. Manchester United haven't actually officially shown any interest in Declan Rice, although there was rumours yesterday or the day before that Man United have offered uh, Maguire and McTominay as exchange for Declan Rice and cash on top. I don't believe that's true. I don't think Man United have made any offers or inquired about him. But Man City look like they are now joining the race. And if that is the case, well, Man City probably end up getting him because how many players do you know that have been Man, Man City have gone after and not got? They've got all the players they needed. And with Gundogan joining Barcelona, and it was announced this morning, I believe, or yesterday evening, that means that there's a play spot left and to be uh, filled by Pep Guardiola as a CDM and I think Declan Rice would be perfect he's young he's fast he would be absolutely perfect for them or oh, any other club that's looking for a CDM Kante have, has also left Chelsea so I think Chelsea could end up joining in the race as well so this could be a huge huge uh, transfer 
throughout this summer of Declan Rice. I think there'll be many clubs who are interested in him and it could be one of those big signings, whoever gets him. I think Manchester United need to sit back, get this takeover business done with first and then move on anything else. Right now, the biggest biggest elephant in the room is this bloody take takeover we need to get this done and dusted with we need some clarity on this before we can move forward with what is going on with transfers i believe look i i get why the glazers if that is true i get why they would be saying look we don't want to be making any moves on transfers or takeover bids and stuff because they wait, they're waiting for the new owners to do that. The own, new owners would want to do that. Why would, if you're buying a club, why would you want the current owners be making moves on your behalf and buying players? Because technically it's not fair on any, any player that's coming in either because they might not be the ones that the new ownership wanted. So this is a huge, huge talking point. We really need to get to the end of this. I'm really hoping that something solid comes out uh, today from the rain group but again having looked through rain group and the background and the people there who are operating and covering this for the glazers and doing everything managing everything for the glazers i don't think we're going to get something concrete but i'm really fingers crossed i'm hoping that it it's uh it is something it is something but we'll have to wait and see anyway guys i'm going to leave it there i will update you with further manchester united news as and when it comes in goodbye